I want to talk about the fact that because we are in Christ, we are ministers and ambassadors of Christ. As a person who is in Christ, you have this responsibility of representing Christ here on earth. I want all of us to understand that there is a heavenly call on our lives in Christ. A heavenly call, meaning God's call on your life. See, many times when you talk about the call of God, we only think about the pastor or the preacher or, you know, the evangelist or the prophet or the apostle or some, somebody in ministry. We say that person is called. But the reality is, the truth is, every believer is called. I want to share some things related to this. The next thing important for us to know is this, that the works flow out of our life in Him, in Christ. The works we do, it comes out of our life in Him. It comes out of our union with Jesus. And that's why you and I can be zealous and we can be confident about whatever He's called us to do because it's coming through Him. It's, you are in Him, and so He is working through you. Now, I want to place this before us that there are two aspects that I want to encourage you to do, I encourage you to work on, focus on, as you are a minister and an ambassador for Christ. First of all, I want us all to recognize the importance of nurturing other people in Christ. So that's one part of what I want you to consider doing as a minister of Christ. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, part of it has to nurture, nurturing other people in Jesus. Think about that. You may have other friends who are also believers who need to be encouraged, who need support, who need prayer. And part of you being a minister, an ambassador for Christ, is to nurture other people in Christ. So that's part of what you and I do. What? We are serving people. We may need to warn them. We may need to correct them. We may need to guide them. We need to encourage them. We pray for them. We serve people, basically. Why? We want to present them perfect. The word perfect simply means mature, grown up, complete. So that's part of what you can do. You don't have to be a seminary graduate to do that. You can just be an encouragement to somebody. Help them, pray with them, spend some time in the Word with them. That's part of you being a minister and an ambassador in Christ. The other part is this, being an ambassador for Christ. So you being in Christ makes you and me an ambassador for Jesus. If you are a new creation in Christ, which you are as a believer in Jesus, God has, you know, all things have gone, all things have become new, all things are of God, but then God has also given you a ministry of reconciliation. And in that context, he says in verse 20, we are ambassadors for Christ. So you are a minister in Christ Jesus. You are a minister and an ambassador for Christ. As a minister, you serve God. You live for His purpose. And part of that is nurture other people in their life in Christ. And you are an ambassador for Jesus Christ. You represent the kingdom. And in connection with that, in closing, we also understand that because we are all ambassadors for Christ, because we are all living for this heavenly call, because we are all here to fulfill the ministry God has given to us, and because we are all ambassadors of the same kingdom, we are all co-workers with each other. We are not here to compete with each other. We are co-workers. We are ambassadors of the same kingdom. Amen? What God has called each one of us to do may be different, but it's the same God who's called us all. So why should there be any comparison, any competition? We are co-workers. And we see each other as co-workers. And we honor each other as co-workers. So be steadfast, unshakable, always increasing in the work of the Lord on your life. 
And remember that as you go about doing his work on you, it's what he does through you. It's not your own efforts. You're just making yourself available. And he works this through you. It's his work. So you abide in him. You stay in him. You stay close to him. You make that your focus. Because as you abide in him, he causes you to be fruitful. And therefore you can be bold, confident in the work that you do because it's being done in the Lord. It's being done by his ability through you. So you can be bold, you can be confident.